Oh, man, man. This be the call of the night and turn all the momentum around for him. Very tough spot. The Andes are 25, the blinds are one and 200,000. Well, it's my highest finish ever in the World Poker Tour event, whatever happens. That's good. Good accomplishment either way. So I moved up from third to second, at least. The last time was third place was your highest? Yeah, I finished third. Mike, looking on the bright side already. Gonna make it 400,000 to go with ace nine of spades. Benny with eight four. Of hearts will make this call though. Going to our first flop. It's an ace nine queen two pair for Sexton. Interesting flop here. So the flush draw for Benny, top and bottom for Mike. Leads to a bet and a call from Benny. Benny going for the flush right here. Ten of diamonds on the turn. Now, on a texture this wet, I'd like to see Mike make a really large bet because there are lots of ways his opponent can have a pair plus a draw, be it flush or straight draw. So I think about 1.2 million would be good here. And Mike is bet, but it's 800,000. So a little bit small there. He wants to get this guy in, perhaps. Thinking that's the right amount. Benny, of course, with a lot of possibilities. Make this call, hoping to hit his flush. Let's see if he does. Nope, eight of diamonds. Well, four to a straight and the back door flush draw is completed there. So Benny has bottom pair, but you see him thinking here, and I think he might turn his hand into a bluff fence. That's the only way he's gonna win it, he knows that. Whoa, uh -oh, he's got the chips out, he's gonna do it. He's betting about half pot here, just under. And this could work out for him. This is a very difficult spot for Mike. Well, Mike with aces up after the flop. But now all the guy has to do is have a jack in his hand to beat you. Wow. Oh, man, man. This would be the call of the night and turn all the momentum around for him. Very tough spot. You could have had them all here. It's hard to imagine that Benny would be betting a worse two pair for value, so he essentially has a jack or nothing. You could have been wearing a crown. Oh, Mike's gonna lay it down. What a great bet by Benny. He pushes the best hand away. He earned that pot completely. Maybe I'm on a free roll. Oh, you sure got him off. You'd ever bet earlier. The set? Said you'd have got him all if you'd ever bet earlier in that pot or ever raised me. When Mike says you would have got him all, you saw a little smile escape the side of Benny's mouth right before he put his poker face back on, and we know why. Great play that he didn't push it on the four flush. Otherwise, Mike does double up in a huge way. All right, moving on. King, queen versus seven, five. They both got a piece of it. Of course, Benny, top pair of queens. Benny's bet 400. Call from Mike. Yeah, Mike's starting to. You can see it. You can see the frustration on his face a little sure. bit. Sure. Ace of clubs on the turn. It's an interesting card. Three clubs out there. Benny has second pair, the nut draw. They go check, check. Oh, and look at this, a great card for Mike, hitting wow. two pair, a seven on the river. Almost no outs, it just slams the one he needs. Now he's putting in a value bet 800,000. This is interesting, Vince, because if Benny decided to turn his hand into a bluff, I don't know that there's anything Mike can do. He has like the ultimate bluffing hand here. He blocks the straight, he blocks the flush, he blocks two pair combinations, but instead he's gonna fold, and, and that is a good fold, but just always interesting to think what you could do instead of the choice you made. Go, Mike! Go, Mike! Go, Mike! <laughs> there is the beautiful tuba, enjoying watching Mike Sexton. <laughs> along with the gorgeous Caitlin at the Dr. Pepper bar. And that was a nice pot for Mike. He really needed that, trying to take control of this heads up battle. Mike knows he's up against tough competition here. Can he ride out the storm? Actions on Mike. Gonna call with an eight six. Benny with Jack three of clubs. Content to see the flop, but the flop is a six six three. Mike Sexton, three of a kind. The perfect flop for Mike here. 
Then he's gonna fire out 200. Ooh. I think that's the first play I've seen from Mike today I really don't like. He just didn't want the aggro. He'll take the pot. Maybe not as big as he wanted, but it'll work. All right, Mike with a 6-3. He's gonna limp the button. Benny with an 8-6 is gonna check this one out. Couple junk hands, and here we go. Flop is an A7-5. Now both players make a straight draw, and a four could be a tournament-ending fiasco for Mike were he to catch it. Mike's betting 200, and it's getting called. Going to the turn, no one gets there. Queen of diamonds. Benny checks. Mike, I like that he's betting for a second time here. He really doesn't have any showdown value. And that queen could make it difficult for a seven or a five to call a second barrel, but Benny, with his open-ended straight draw, is gonna go to a river here, so... An eight lands that gives Benny a pair. So he checks over to Mike. And Mike checks back, so Benny gonna take this down with a pair of eights. Mike says, yeah, you're good. You can't blame Mike for trying. Gave it a big effort. Shot two barrels at it, just didn't work out. Tough play by Benny Chen. He has about 12 million, Mike down to about 7-3. He looks a little frustrated here. <sighs> yeah, it's never fun to lose most of the pots you play heads up. It just starts to feel a little hopeless. This time, Benny Chen is going to raise with a 9-8 to 400. Mike with king, seven of clubs, quickly making the call. And the flop is a 10, 9, 5, two clubs. Four flush for Mike. Benny with the nines. Benny checks back. Ooh, all Mike. Oh, yeah. All right, let's go. Ooh, Caught man. the flush. They both check. Five on the river, pairing the board. Well, Benny checked back this flop, planning to call some bets. But now on this river, he loses to just about everything but a bluff. He loses to trips, straights, tens, queens, flushes. Well, Mike's bet 500. Mike's begging for a call. Give him back some of those chips, but no, he escapes. So Mike Sexton trying to ride out the waves here in Montreal. Never make a bobble. You never make a bobble, do you? I make a few bad moves. I really like dude, but I'm just telling you. I mean, over under on a marriage, not cool. Not cool. Out of line. Is that yours? It will be. It's not just a dollar. It's your ticket to a million dollar tournament. Sign up for free today at WPTGlobal.com and use bonus code YT60. Not going Sexton's way so far, but still has plenty of room to make a comeback here. Right now, Mike with a little suited connector. And he's gonna raise with it, make it 400,000. Benny Chan with ace-10, though. Yeah, Benny has a choice between calling and re-raising here. People like to mix up how they play these kind of spots, and Benny wants to make it 1.1 million to go. Yeah, he's gonna put the pressure on Mike. I think Mike's a little too shallow here to go to the flop with 5-4 suited. Can't really make top pair with that type of hand, but it looks like he wants to peel, and so we will go to a flop. He's gonna gamble, hope to get lucky. Here is the flop, it's eight, six, deuce, good for Mike. Yeah, that's a great flop for Mike. Any three or seven for a straight, he also has backdoor spades, plus Benny is whiffed here, so I expect him to make one bet, and if he doesn't find something on the turn, he'll have to shut down. Benny's bet a million. Mike Sexton liking that flop, making the call, hoping to connect here. Let's see if he does. No, in oh, fact, no. Benny connects. Oh, no. I mean, that is all kinds of Benny's card. How does he want to play it? I don't want to check. I like that. He's going to hope that Mike bets at it. And oh, boy. Yep, Mike's taking a stab. Well, I like Mike's bet here. He only has five high. He's got a lot of outs. Often your opponent has uh, ace high or Broadway cards that are forced to fold this turn, but unfortunately for Mike, this was actually the perfect card for Benny. All in. And then Benny coming over the top to torture Mike just a little bit more. Man, 
Benny has played this perfect. Well, he hit the card even more perfectly. I could have checked here, I guess. I like that Mike has bet here, but now I believe he's forced to fold and he does not have the odds to call for his straight here. Plus, he'd be putting his entire tournament life at risk. So, Mike in a very difficult spot. This is this is gut wrenching, Vince. Sometimes you do everything right, but it still backfires. That's what we're seeing right now. Mike melting away. Well, you know I feel lucky. Oh, don't start that. Oh, finally, getting away from the hand. A very reluctant fold from Mike, but it was the correct fold. The crowd just silenced. Nice hand. Oh, that's killer. He lost, must have lost three million in that pot, right? Yeah. One point yeah. one more. Shucks. Three point five. Ah. So he's down to four million. Guy's been out here for 15 years, you see him going for the title and everything just not going his way. Now our blinds are up though. We were playing 125, 250. So Mike running out of room. And Mike with ace high, gonna disguise the ace with just a call. Benny with a 10, seven and the flop is a queen, eight, nine. Good for Benny as he open ended straight draw. Not much here for Mike, so he checks back. Turn card, another queen. Okay, so Benny picks up a flush draw to go along with his straight draw, and Mike really doesn't have anything here. Benny's betting 250, and Mike... Kind of surprised by that call. I mean, there's not much happening here for Mike, and it's very easy for your opponent to have a better hand or bluff you out on the river, so... Six on the river makes Benny a straight here. I mean, that is the best possible card for Benny. An offsuit six. And he's going to bet 600000 You got to hand it every time. Mike has to lay it down. Every time you got it. Running good. Mike Sexton running up down escalator right now. And Benny with 17 million. Mike just dribbling away with 1.8 in chips. Benny has him 10 to 1 now. After they entered this heads up match, even in chips. So Mike mucks this hand. His dream of becoming the WPT champion up in smoke. Gross, 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 gross. All in. Benny all in for Mike's last six blinds. Yeah, this could be it. Now, Mike? This is close, Vince. I'll ask Campbell. Yep, he's going to do it. All right, that's a good call by Mike. Oh. No Man. Got the two over cards here. Trying to hold up. Get back into this heads up match. Suit it. I must say I didn't expect to see that hand on him. Crazy things have happened. Benny's running so good. Makes me think he's been bossing me around too much. Can Mike possibly win this hand? Double up and get back into this. Here we go with the first three. Queen yeah! Wow. He hits a queen. Mike Sexton hits a queen. Whoa. Little reprieve so far going to the turn. There it is. Mike will lock up this pot with a deuce. Mike will take it and double up. Could this be the beginning of a complete turnaround for Mike? We will see. And the blinds are going up to two and four with a $50,000 ante. Benny. He's got an A7 here. Making it 800,000. Mike's pretty short. I'm a little surprised Benny didn't just shove on him. So Mike will make the call here. So A7 versus 8-6, and the flop is a queen 8-7. So eights for Mike, Benny with sevens. Mike checks, Benny check, they both check. Four on the turn. That's a good card for Mike. He now has a gut shot to go along with this pair. 
And I like that he's betting here. He's going to get some value. Benny stuck in this pot with his seven. And last card is, oh no, a seven. Wow. Three of a kind, but Benny! Man, I mean, Benny just living on the river so far in this heads up match. And it's one thing to catch up, but if he hits an ace, I think Mike gets away. But on a seven, now Mike might get stuck into this. 1.2. Oh boy. Benny trying to pick him apart. 1.2. And Mike going to the think tank. You said not seeing the bluff. And the tricky part about this hand is that Benny checked back on the flop. And I really think that if he had some kind of drawing hand, he just bets the flop. Check the flop. You mean three forward on the turn? Worse. Three sevens on the river. Oh, he's gonna call it. Benny loves it. That's a rough one for Mike. Oh, Mike is stunned. He, he can't believe what he's seeing in his heads-up battle. Ooh, lucky. You know, I'll give credit where credit is due. That's a really well-played hand by Benny. Flop bottom pair, backdoor flush draw. Checks back on the flop, calls one bet in the turn, and gets the card he absolutely needs on the river. That's how this game works. Well played hand by Benny, but a very expensive pot for Mike Sexton. Lost about half his stack in that hand, down to around three million. Yeah. Below 10 blinds, and uh, he is officially playing push fold poker. Well, just Benny say abracadabra, because that's mm -hmm. magic. Let you have one. Just the one? No, I'm gonna let you have a couple more, I think. All right. Benny up to 16 million. Mike with 3 million. You're entitled to a few. Mike has seen it all in poker. Rarely, and I've played a lot of poker with Mike. All in. Have I seen him get upset now? Benny pushing all in. Call. Mike has got a pair of kings, though. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> oh, my I mean, The guy doesn't even have an ace. He doesn't have 7-6 to try and hit a weird straight. He literally has, like, the one hand that cannot win against kings. Well, Mike with a big chance here. Big, big favorite. Needs this double up, and the flop is a 9, 10, 10. Great for Mike. Not over yet, though. It's a mostly safe flop, but Benny could go runner runner here for a straight. And turn card is a queen. Best Benny could do is chop. Chop? At least I can't lose it. <laughs> good spot for you. So Mike looking good, and river card, no chop there. Three million exactly. Queen pairs the board. There's life for Mike. Scores a crucial double up. Well, hey, they win. I went. I'm all in. All right, no more all in. That's it. Lines are going up to 250, 500. Here we go. Mike Sexton behind with close to 6.7. Benny Chen with about 13. Mike is going to just call, and Benny now. I think Mike's a little short to just be calling. He's down to like 12 or 13 blinds. There's just not enough room for that kind of thing. Benny's raised to 1.2, and Mike is going to make this call. Splash around. Ups a king, queen, nine. Good for Mike. Hitting queens. And Benny getting none of that, but making the continuation bet of a million. Really not a fan of how Benny has played this hand. I think if you're going to raise preflop, you should just shove. And I think on this particular flop, the likelihood that you get your opponent to fold something he limp called is so low, you can just give up. I'm all in. Mike is going to gamble here. Hope the guy doesn't have a king, and he's right with that assumption. Mike Sexton taking that one down. It's a good one, too. Mike crawling his way back. Mike has made three WPT final tables. He's never taken down the championship yet. Can it be his night tonight? But look at this Benny, pair of kings. It's just an avalanche of big pairs for Benny at this final table. One million. He's going up to a million. Mike has an A6. 
He's gonna take a peek, makes the call. Big pot brewing. And the flop is a 5-4-3. Couple spades. That's actually pretty good for Mike. He has the uh, ace of spades to go along with his open and a straight draw. So any ace, deuce, seven. Mike checks. Surprised that Benny checked there. Jack of diamonds on the turn. Well, no help from Mike. He still has an open ended straight draw and an over card. But usually when Benny has checked back, it's been with showdown value, and perhaps Mike is picking up on that because he's not going to bluff here. So now over to Benny, and I doubt he's going to check two streets in a row here. He wants to make a bet. Megan. Big over pair. He wants action from Sexton. Does he want to push here and take a shot? No. Luckily, intelligently, he folds the hand. Well played hand by Mike. I was consistent. I misplayed that hand on every street. No, no, you didn't. You just losing every hand and never feels good. In every street I must play that one. Well, he's talking to himself and now Betty Chen with close to 12 million, Mike about close to 8 million. Why is a 250-500 hugely expensive? This time Mike with a king nine and he will raise it up. Benny with a very strong ace queen. I mean, this is crazy, Vince. Every hand, Benny looks down at a premium. Oh, he's figuring out how to punish Mike even more. Three million. Ugh, that's how. And that's about half of Mike's stack. Well, not much Mike can do there. Just ran into a big hand, so. A lot of the story of this heads-up match has been Benny looks down at a sweet hand, Mike pays off a little and then gets away. There you see, he won the 2013 Millionaire Maker at the World Series of Poker. A massive cash for such a small buy-in. Great way to break into the poker world. Now has an opportunity to win a WPT title to go along with his bracelet. Has a nice chip lead here facing off against the legend of the game in Mike Sexton. Benny this time with a nothing 7-4. He'll go to 1.2. Mike Sexton with a queen, nine of clubs. Now Mike just calls, but I'll tell you what, Vince, queen nine suited plays great as an all-in. People think I'm crazy when I say that, but you run the computer and you realize just how good hands like queen nine and jack nine suited are. Well, 10, eight, six on this flop. Four flush for Mike Saxon, but he checks it. Everybody connects on this flop. I mean, straight draw for Benny, straight and flush draw for Mike. Oh, 10. No flush there for Mike. That is not his card. Well, he's kind of bet it though, 800,000. Well, thus far in the heads up match, when Benny has had outs going to the river, he has called and usually hit. He does make this call, looking for a nine or a five. River card, Mike wants to hit a club. No, it's a four spades. That gives Benny the winner now. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, Vince. I mean, yet again, the perfect river for Benny. Mike checks. He doesn't know how perfect it is, but he's about to find out. Just checks it well, down. You bet the flop, I'd have shipped it. I'm sure you got me now, though. Yep. Mike completely, oh man. Look at his face do a double take. Wow. Blinds are massive, three and six hundred, so Mike with five big blinds, that's really it. I'm all in. He's gonna shove with Jack, 10. Call. And Benny with an ace eight. Mike needs uh, to improve in order to keep this heads up match continuing. I have to draw it again, Vince. Mike here with about three million. I can't watch. Benny, about 16 million. Vince cannot watch, the intensity too high. This is the last time I'm gonna ask to draw out in this tournament. I'm not gonna ask anymore. Come on, Mike. I gotta know. Yeah, he's got it! He's got a 10! <laughs> 
right, two more cards to fade. Now he's gonna sweat the turn of the river. Turn card, save for Mike, three of spades. Mike in front, looking good, but there is one card that Benny could take down this title with. Benny can find an ace on this river. He will be our champion. Here it comes, what's it gonna be? Nine of clubs, that's good for Mike. Mike Sexton gonna double up here. Back around 6.5 million. <laughs> Amazing. What are we seeing in this heads up battle? It's my life. <laughs> this is just gonna crush. It's a $1 buy in, a million dollar guarantee. I can't believe no one's thought about this. What idiot came up with this? This is a disaster. There's no way we're gonna cover this. Sign up for free today at WPTGlobal.com and use bonus code YT60 and play the $1 for 1 million tournament. Color back in his skin and everything, and this time a pair of deuces. All in. Gone all in. Yeah, let's go. Ooh, count please. This is a tough decision for Benny. This is about 11 blind shove. He's got a very borderline hand here with ace five. Every all in. So crucial. Just under seven. And all of a sudden, Benny's starting to look a little worried. He's gonna fold the hand. Benny should be worried. Not long ago, he had Mike 10 to one. Now they are drawing even in chips. We've had quite a battle, whatever happens anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, Mike's starting to smile again. It's very unusual for him at this final table. I think he feels like he's been given a new lease on life. He was so short, and then he was all in behind. Ooh, Benny has a big hand here, King-10 suited. He's raising it up to 1.2 million. Mike with ace-deuce. Okay, let's, let's hear those magic words, Mike. Let's go again. There's a good chance he could shove. I'm all in. Yeah! He's gonna shove. Benny, what the hell was that? I'm speechless, Vince. I don't know what that fold was. Well, he's on a good streak right now. Mike Sexton on a comeback. Action on Benny Chen, the chip leader with about 10.5. Benny this time with a queen nine of diamonds just calling. Keep saying, Vince, queen nine suited is a better hand than everyone realizes. Mike with an eight five, content to see the flop. Up as a jack 10 9. Something for everyone here. Bottom pair and an open ended straight draw for Benny. Open ended straight draw and a backdoor flush draw for Mike. He picks up a heart on the turn. And they check checked on the flop. Both players check again. So let's go to a river. And it is a seven of spades. That's exactly the card that Mike was looking for. He makes a straight on this river. Beautiful card from him. He's going to bet 900,000 into Benny. Mike hasn't made many river bluffs so far in this heads up match. I wonder if Benny is going to adjust to that, or will he pay off? He's going to call down here and find out the bad news. Yeah, Mike's going to like that very much. Benny finally has a look of worry at this final table we haven't seen. Well, after taking down a couple of pots, Mike Sexton has taken the chip lead here. Can it be? No, it can't. Possible for what we've been seeing tonight. And for the first time tonight, Mike Sexton has the lead in this heads up match. Ooh, and he's got a pair of eights to go along with it. Just calling. A little surprised that Mike is limping a hand this strong on the button. I don't quite understand. Disguising the strength of the hand, perhaps. And here we go with the flop. Five, five, six. It's a good flop for Mike, and actually not a bad one for Benny. He does have a gut shot straight draw to a seven. Mike bets 700, quickly takes it down. Momentum now going to Mike Sexton. He's trying to stretch out his chip lead. Can't believe what I'm seeing here. Mike's turned it around. And this time Benny with a king jack. He's got about 14 blinds, so how's he want to play this? All in. That's how he's going to play it.
Mike with the ladies? Yes, I call. Oh! <laughs> In the affirmative. Well, Vince, you don't see a lot of emotion at the poker table, but Mike there trying to fight a little back. I feel like I want to hold your hand. Five cards to come. Both these guys on the edge of their seat going to the flop. It's a queen on the flop! Great flop for Mike, but still four outs for Benny here. He can hit a 10 to make a straight and double up. But if he doesn't, Mike's gonna be our champion. Three of a kind on the flop. Thing of beauty. Here comes the turn, ace of clubs. Mm -mm, no help to Benny. Still the same four outs. Ten and only a ten will continue this tournament. Otherwise, Mike Sexton, your newest WPT champion. Deuce of diamonds, it's over! We've done it! Vince, that is it. We have witnessed history tonight. We, we root on our colleague. Just an amazing effort. Benny Chen, what can you say? Bad luck. He'll come in second. Mike! Jackson, WPD champion, let's talk to him. Oh, God. Great goal, Mike. Great goal, Mike. What a battle. Oh. Oh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, right. Mike's very tough. He's, very, he's a great player. Uh, hats off to him. Congratulations to him. I, just, I know I play my best, so that's all. It wasn't in the cards for me, so there's nothing I can do. Let's hear it one more time for the great Mike Sexton. Thanks, man. WPT tournament champion, I'm coming. Back to your list.